everybody. Jenny Tooley here. As usual, it's been an interesting morning getting to this place. Um, so I'm grateful to be here. Congratulations on getting here, you guys. So if you're here, you made it. If you're not quite here yet, I know you're coming. Um, <laughs> We're starting a little bit early. Creative Bubble is actually going to start at 12.15, but I want to give people a little bit of time to, um, to get settled, and we can have a little chat beforehand. Just let me know that you're here in the comments, because I'd love to see you. Um, let's see. What should we talk about today? So we've got a lot of kitty activity back here. I give them a treat, thinking that that might settle them down. I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. We'll see. There's a lot of playing happening right now. Um, so, what else is going on? Oh, okay, yes. Let's talk about the holidays are coming up, right? Well, it's really already holiday season here in America. So if you're in America with us, it's holiday season. And um, I have this come up with this program. My brain is not 100% in my head today, you guys. <laughs> I totally admit it. My brain is not quite yet in my head, but we're getting there. So by the time we get into the bubble, my brain will be completely galvanized in my head. Um, anyway, so I've come up with this these uh, email programs. The first one is called 25 Days of Light, and I think we could all use a little light right now. Uh, this is typically the darkest time of the year as we move toward the winter solstice. And, uh, you know, there's just been quite a bit of darkness happening. So 25 days of light is what I came up with, and it's 25 uh, emails sent to your email box, not all at once, one day at a time from December 1st to December 25th. And uh, those are going to be jam-packed with, they're just like little gifty goodies. It's like an advent calendar in your email box with some self-care tips to help support you, some inspiration, and just some fun and little bits of resources. So you can find that on my page, JennyTooley.com. Alrighty, so what else to talk about today? You know, I had a topic in my brain and it flew away. I was I was trying to reset everything. So as you can see, I flipped, I flipped the camera today and um, I suppose that's, that's about adaptability and being willing to adapt to circumstances, which I think is a very good um, skill and trait for us all to have right now, um, is the ability to constantly adapt to the circumstances and to be in acceptance. <sighs> Am I in acceptance right now? My kitty yowling, he's a yowler, he's a very talky guy. Not exactly. Um, because it's kind of messing up my mojo, but, you know, I love my cat, and uh, I also know that things right now and situations are really imperfect. So, hey, you're going to get um, a video of me with my cat yelling in the background. So I have to adapt. I have to be consistently willing to adapt. If I'm rigid, I will break. And I always, when I was teaching yoga, I talked about, um, you know, when you're stretching, so let's say you're doing a forward bend on the ground, like you did when you were a kid, you're sitting on the ground with your legs out front, and you're reaching, reaching, reaching for your toes. Well, what actually happens is, when you're reaching, reaching, reaching for your toes, your legs, your muscles get really rigid. And if your muscles are really rigid, they're not going to let go and allow you just to relax deeply into that pose. So you're always going to just get stuck in that one spot where you can't get past, right? Same thing in life. If I'm really, really rigid, I'm going to get stuck in that one thing that I just can't get past. And I'm going to get frustrated and angry and eventually I'm going to fall into depression because I can't see a way out of it. So adapting. Important to be my own person to have, you know, a strong spine, uh, to have my own views and desires and needs, but also the willingness to adapt and go with the flow, incredibly important in life and creativity. So, here we go, you guys, Creative Bubble. Welcome. If it's your first Creative Bubble, this is what's going to happen. What we're going to do is you can put your goals and intentions into the comment section up here bing, is what goals and intentions are according to the creative bubble 
So goal is a specific thing that you want to achieve in a set period of time. Uh, my goal today, boy, my goal today in my creative bubble is I want to release some of this energy. So I think I'm going to dance and sing during the creative bubble. I won't do it on camera. Um, now the intention is how you approach accomplishing that goal. And I am going to approach that playfully. So I am going to approach dancing and singing with a playful mindset. All right, and I'll put that in the comments here in a couple minutes. And let's go ahead, we're gonna do a grounding moment. So this is gonna be a guided relaxation to help you get grounded. And then we'll move into the bubble. It's gonna be 20 minutes long super simple during that 20 minutes you can do whatever you want to just work toward whatever your goal is and please 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 love yourself and make that goal a simple one a simple task that can be accomplished in this 20 minutes or maybe it's the beginning of a of a larger task that can be accomplished but i want you to be able to celebrate the fact that you accomplished your goal that you got in touch with your creativity your muse is happy, you're happy, everybody's in the flow, and then you can move on with your day, either going back to doing work, work, domestic stuff, or uh, your creative work. So here we go. We're going to get grounded. And we'll begin by just taking a nice deep inhalation. And exhale with a sigh. And inhale. And exhale. Now if you find that you're tipping over, I want you just to lift your heart up and open it up. Lengthen your belly. Allow your shoulders to relax down your back. Have a nice long spine. And your feet are on the ground. <clears throat> feet flat on the floor unless you're lying down beautiful and then I just want you to imagine this warm light going down through the top of your head right down into your torso and your belly down through the feet, down through the ground, into the core of the earth. So you're nice and grounded here. If you were a mountain, your feet would be the base of the mountain and your head would be rising up toward the sky. And you'd have all this beautiful energy in between. Now if your mind or your energy is somewhere else, I just want you to gather that back up. So just imagine that happening, whatever that means. You might have a fishing line, you're reeling it back in. You might be just reaching out and pulling it back in with your hands. Or you might just be calling it back in. So you're making yourself whole and full again. Sometimes we give our energy and we forget to bring it back and that's when we get exhausted. So I'm just inviting you to bring your energy back. Beautiful. All right. Now just imagine you're creating a space around yourself that is yours alone. Nobody else gets to be in that space. If you've got somebody, quote, living in that space with you, whether it's in your mind or actually literally living in your space, if they're in your mind, just ask them to leave. If they're in your space, just imagine that there is a wall, a gentle loving wall <laughs> between you and them. And you just put that up for a little bit. You don't have to put it up forever. And now we have our creative bubble. And in this bubble you have everything that you need. Everything you need to succeed today. And I will see you guys when the timer hits zero.
everybody, Jenny Tooley here, I'm back. How did it go? Tell me about it. I want to hear all about it in your comment in the comment section. Just uh, I'll tell you how it went for me. I, you know, <clears throat> I always have to have a little transition period. Whenever I'm producing something and administrating something, there's a, there's a little transition that has to happen in my brain. So I uh, had to do a little transition, get my little things set the way I wanted them to be set and turn on the music and then I was like oh my god I'm way too hot in what I'm wearing oh my god <laughs> so you know I changed into some shorts and uh, not like you're gonna see my totally mismatched outfit here and uh, you know did a little dancing and then I just followed what was the next thing to do and the next thing to do was just to enjoy some music and um, start writing the weekly digest for my creative space patrons uh, because that just felt like the next right thing to do. That was what the muse was inspiring me to do. So that's what I did. Let me know what how it went for you. Um, we're just gonna go ahead and start to transition out here. Hope you guys are having a great day. Uh, if you're interested in doing some longer bubbles in person on Zoom, we do those on Tuesday nights. I love them. They're fantastic. We just check in with each other. If you have a goal that you want us to hold you accountable for from week to week, we're like, hey man, how did it go? Where, where are you doing? Or hey dudette, I should say hey dudette. Um, you know, where are you at with what you're doing? And uh, there's no judgment, there's no criticism or advice, just encouragement and support. So uh, we then go into what we did today, which was setting goals and intentions doing a grounding moment and then you have a full hour and 10 minutes to dream work or play on whatever you want to people in that group are doing some really great things you don't have to be an artist to be a part of this group just a creative human you might just be exploring your creativity or trying to create some space for yourself and that's all that's all you got to do so if you want to show up show up we would love to have you jennytooley.com is where you're going to find that the creative bubbles uh, what else do we have going on? Like I said earlier, we've got the new email program, 25 Days of Light, happening. As you can see here, boom, day zero. You can find that sample on my website. It says, send yourself a daily dose of affirmations. So this is a great little tip that I've used for the last oh, probably five or six years. Um, I won't give it away too much, but basically my phone has uh, notifications on it that are like, you rock and they come up every day at the same time every day <laughs> so I know I almost believe I rock you guys it's pretty cool <laughs> so you can get 25 days of light as well as uh, 21 days of mantras to support your New Year's goals or 14 days of love notes around Valentine's Day lots of super fun there and I've got holiday samplers for my coaching so like you know maybe you need like immersion, a little immersion of one to three months of just creative support. So I've got that too, and I'm doing holiday samplers that are discounted. So you can give that gift to yourself or somebody else, and they basically contain the e and the email program for that month. So January would be the 21 days of the light of mantras um, email program, plus unlimited bubbles on Zoom on the Tuesday nights, unlimited creative bubbles. So you have your space and your weekly here I show up and then a creative coaching um, session plus you get to be a member of my creative space my creative space is basically where my fans patrons and other creatives show up and we just uh, you know support each other in our creativity you guys can support me I can support you it's a pretty awesome place to be so yeah check it out I hope you guys are having a great week hope you have a good weekend and I will see you soon. Much love.